Welcome to Pin Foundations Incorporated Diamond Peer Training. Today we're going to talk about what is the Diamond Peer Foundation system. We'll do a quick overview, we'll discuss the advantages, soils, code compliance, the permit process, applications, what's included in the system, where to purchase Diamond Peers, installation and warranty information. Diamond Pier is a structurally rated, code compliant alternate footing that replaces a traditional concrete footing for projects like decks, gazebos, screen porches, and other simple residential projects. The Diamond Pier consists of a high strength concrete head with long steel pins driven at angles through the concrete head with an electric jackhammer using the Diamond Pier driving bit. The pins are driven into undisturbed soils providing excellent bearing, uplift, and lateral load capacities. The Diamond Pier comes with an anchor bolt to fasten a standard post bracket. Prior to installation, you will find bolted to the top of the concrete head, four tips to insert in the driving end of the pin, and four caps to finish the installation for a clean, aesthetic look. With the pins driven at angles, the Diamond Pier utilizes the inherent strength of the undisturbed soils and diverts forces in a unique way to provide exceptional bearing, uplift, and lateral load support. Available in two sizes, the DP75 and the DP50. The DP50 50 inch skew is equivalent to a 20 inch diameter footing 48 inches deep. And the DP75 63 inch skew is equivalent up to a 24 inch diameter footing 60 inches deep. Any time a pin length exceeds 50 inches, the diameter must increase to one and a quarter inch in order to achieve the proper deflection values. Some people might try to substitute a one inch diameter pin longer than 50 inches into the DP50 head to achieve what they perceive as better frost protection, but that's a misunderstanding of the engineering principles. Long slender pins can overstress and bend permanently, which could result and a possible failure of the installation. Inserting the tips into the pins is crucial. You will find the tips inside the baggie attached to the concrete head. Line up the notch in the tip with the weld seam inside the pin, then tap it firmly into the pin. The tip doesn't need to go in all the way, just enough to block dirt from moving into the pipe. This allows the building inspector to run his tape measure down the pin to verify the length. Once the tips are inserted, you can place the pins into the concrete head. The Diamond Pier footing can be installed in minutes. Seven footings were installed on this project within an hour and the project was completed the same day. Footing inspections can be done at any time, but access to the caps is required. If the deck is lowered to the ground, the footing inspection should be done before the deck is floored. Either way, there are no holes to dig, no waiting for concrete to dry. You can start your project at 8 a.m. and have your deck framed by lunch. The Diamond Pier residential load chart on page 6 of the installation manual shows capacities for two types of soils, sands and clays. Your building department will determine your soil type and can direct you to the proper capacities. These capacities are based on presumptive soil values in the building code. Diamond Piers are nationally code compliant under the IRC, as well as under the Uniform Dwelling Code in the state of Wisconsin. Both codes recognize Diamond Pier as code compliant for the applications of simple residential projects. Before you purchase the Diamond Pier, please confirm your soils meet the minimum 1500 pound per square foot minimum soil strength requirements. You can get this information from your local building department. The building department will check to make sure that the loading of the project is within the limits of our capacity chart. Please inquire with your building department regarding proper spans and spacing to accommodate your proposed loading. Apply for your permit from your municipality and provide the following documentation. The ESR 1895 Diamond Pier Code Compliant Document, detailed drawings of your project, a copy of the Diamond Pier Residential Load Chart, which can be found on page 6 of the Diamond Pier Installation Manual, and prior to digging, make sure to locate all underground utility lines and determine proper safety zones and horizontal pin distances to avoid hitting any underground lines with the steel pin. To determine horizontal pin distances, reference Table 2 on page 9 of the Diamond Pier Installation Manual. Only a few simple tools are needed to install the Diamond Pier. First of all, you want to make sure you always wear safety glasses, a proper pair of insulated gloves, and air protection. 
You will also need a square edge shovel, a sledgehammer, torpedo level, tape measure, and a pipe wrench. And remember to always insert the tips into the pins prior to installation. The tips prevent dirt from entering the pins and allows the building code official to measure the length of the pipe. Starting in 2009, Pin Foundations Inc. studied the performance of the Diamond Pier product in severe Minnesota frost. After 10 years of field history and with over 14,000 projects recorded, the data shows Diamond Pier resisted the negative effects of frost heat in 99.7% of installations. You can download a copy of this report from the homepage of the Diamond Pier website at diamondpiers.com. Code compliant uses for the Diamond Pier are decks, covered decks, covered porches, walkways, stairways, and accessory structures as defined in the International Residential Code or similar projects that meet this intent. In order to maintain a structurally rated code compliant system, the Diamond Pier must be sold as one complete ICC QC certified system. This includes the certified Diamond Pier concrete head, four certified steel pins, and tips and caps. The 14 digit barcode labeled on the concrete head tracks the quality control. Diamond piers are sold to contractors through retail lumber yards and building supply stores. To find your nearest retail store, visit our retail locator page on the Diamond Pier website. Please read the complete Diamond Pier installation manual prior to installation and follow all directions. Diamond Pier is backed by a limited lifetime warranty covering parts and labor. For more information on the Diamond Pier warranty or to register, visit diamondpiers.com. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Diamond Pier Foundation System. 